Hey everybody, my name is Kendall, and welcome back from the video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated the rest of the playoffs. Fortunately, we got defeated by the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we uh, were not able to make it to the finals, but we made it far enough, in my opinion. Uh, for the third year, was much better than uh, the two previous years where we didn't even make it to the playoffs. So at least there, that was good. We made some decent draft picks as well, but uh, others were kind of uh, normal, I, if we wanted to talk about it that way. And also the free agency was fine, and, and uh, was fine, and we did get Genzel and stuff like that. We're going to uh, look at our roster moves in a second, uh, because right now we're in the preseason, boys. So uh, we got nothing else to do. Let's just look at our uh, roster moves. We're uh, in the preseason of our fourth regular season. Let's see what we are, have in our roster because I kind of forgot it's been a while. All right, so we do have Mekinen, of course, Malkin, Metal Stat. Uh, Malkin is now, uh, he dropped again, so he really is starting to drop big time. He's now in the lower tiers in the 84s. So Metal Stat might play instead of Malkin. We'll see how that goes. But he's now in exact top nine as well. That's not good. Uh, Pavelski, of course. And we've got Barry Boulet, which is going to be our depth uh, player, boys. Also, in the uh, minors, do we have anybody? No, okay, so everybody's good. We don't need to bring up anybody. Good. Left wing, we've got uh, Keller, Genzel. So uh, Keller did grow to an 88, that, which means he's pretty much uh, as good as uh, Genzel. So Keller and Genzel with uh, Johnson and uh, Skinner. In the minors, we've got Perlini, uh, Cogliano, Nothing really, and Bloom as well is another one of those prospects. We also have right wingers, so Inostroza in the minors, Perry, Nado, and Ericsson. Nado being a prospect, and uh, nothing else really. What about the NHL? Pasternak, Mata, and Olsen in Tuck. So we don't really have that strong of a team, but we do have a really good depth forward line. For the defense, Darlene, power at 80, uh, 87, so he did grow. Lindholm, Manson, Parnes did not grow. He's still an 83, boys. That's unfortunate. We've got Appleby, now an 81. So he's our brand new... Uh, I, I think that's going to be his first season, right? Yes, it's going to be his rookie season with us, with Travis Dermott as well. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got, seven, uh, we got uh, the seven guys. So Bryson is ready to play in the league. He's in 80 overall. I wasn't sure if he's well, it was going to be ready or not. Lazarev is our big time low elite uh, defenseman. Which we're keeping an eye on. And all the other ones. I don't have anybody that, uh, else that's really a, a, a big time prospect. Aside from Laxonen which is a top 6. So we don't have anybody. We have Bryson. But the thing with Bryson though is... Since he is uh, uh, at 26 years of age, I don't really care about him. I'm going to keep him. I'm not going to trade him away. Uh, yes, he is ready to play in the league, but he'll play the minors, boys. I don't have any use for him, to be honest, uh, aside from playing in the minors. Still got Campbell at 85 overall. And uh, we uh, have Lukanen at 83. So Lukanen is growing uh, uh, slowly, but he's growing a little bit. So he's he might be ready. I'm not sure if he's ever actually going to be a starter. He's at 25 years of age now and only 83. Uh, he might not even be a starter. To be a starter, you got to be at least in the 85s like uh, Campbell. So everybody's there, I guess. Everybody's The roster moves is fine as it is. So I'm just going to have to edit the lines really quick. See you guys once it's completed. All right, the lineups are completed, boys. And it's going to be looking like that for now. It's going to be Keller with Mekinen and uh, Pasternak on the first line. Uh, stud ass first line, boys. Uh, the plus five overall as well. So they're going to be playing on top of their mind. Uh, pl do playmakers with a sniper. It's going to be great. Uh, exactly what I wanted. Now, Gensel with our brand new addition with middle stat and Mata, boys. I did say middle stat was going to be uh, higher than Malkin. It was going to surpass Malkin. Because he's got higher potential, he's just... A slightly better player than Malkin at this point of his career. Uh, Malkin is dropping fast. He doesn't... Like, he's still putting points. 75 points last year. 
But I don't think he's going to be putting these points anyways if he's on the second line. So uh, middle step with Mata. Uh, P Johnson with Malkin and Olofsson on the third line. Skinner with Pavelski and Tuck. So we've got some veterans in here in the center line. We also have Darlene with Owen Power on the f at the first as the first pair, boys. Uh, Lindholm, which was in the first pair last year, uh, really dropped big time. He dropped uh, exponentially, which is unfortunate. At 30 years of age, uh, he shouldn't have dropped like that. How many points did he put? Yeah, that's kind of understandable, though. 12 points only. I think um, Darlene ended up having all the points for himself. So uh, we'll see how Owen Power fares with Darlene on his side. Uh, they're both two-way defensemen. I don't know like if that's going to hinder a Power's ability to produce, but we'll see. We also have Parnes that is playing on the second pair with uh, Lindholm and uh, Appleby. Now, do I want to... Appleby is a three-star, right? No, okay. So yeah, and Lindholm is a... Is a Okay, so they're both better. Okay, so that's fine. So Appleby is going to be on the third pair playing with Menson. All right, so this debut. And of, of course, we're going to have Campbell and Lukanen. In the minors, we still have not a lot of prospects. So we got uh, these guys right here. Kisikov is playing on the second line with P Perry and Stepan. Uh, Bloom, Aiden, uh, Nado, Cogliano, Eakin, and uh, Erickson. For the defensive pair, Bryson and Ao. Uh, Lazarev, which is our defenseman we need to keep an eye on. He's playing on the second pair instead of the first pair. Uh, just because we uh, we need him to... He's not as good as uh, AO for some reason, boys. He's just not as good, so we're playing AO instead of him. He's playing with Lackerson still, and Wilson... Uh, uh, Wallman is playing with Clifton. And in the goaltending pair, we got Subban and Kudaban, boys. So there it is. Also, if you want to take a look at the scratch players, Barry Boulet and uh, Travis Dermott is uh, our players that are going to be playing instead of uh, for their injuries, basically. So uh, for the rest, we're good. We're going to take a look at the captains and jerseys, make sure everything's all right. So Mekinen is our assist man, Pasternak as well. And Darlene is our captain, which is fine by me. All right. Everything good, boys? Let's just simulate to the uh, until the entire regular season. We'll see how it went. Hopefully it went uh, pretty good. We're going to get all sorts of uh, trade offers that I don't want to uh, do for some reason. All right, so we ended it off for the pre preseason. Let's see what the record was. And uh, it was uh, two wins, three wins right here, four wins. So four wins and one loss. And over here, five and two. So five and two for the record of preseasons, boys. So... Pretty good, pretty good record. Let's see if we can keep it up for the actual regular season, boys. It's going to be great if we could defeat these guys. So let's hope we're going to be able to do that, uh, do just that. I am tempted to actually do the first game like last time. Uh, like uh, the last time we did it the, for the last season. But I'm actually going to do it for the last uh, game of the regular season now. Right, I want a, a game that matters most, really, to for us to uh, actually go in into it and stuff. So let's just start the simulation. We're gonna not gonna mess around. Let's see with our brand new team. A couple new players added to the mix with Genzel and everything. How is uh, we're gonna fare? So a shootout last to start it off against the Columbus Blue Jackets. These are the guys that eliminated us in the um, in the last previous. Uh, playoff rounds, right? So uh, there's a shootout win. So shootout last uh, followed by a shootout win against the Ottawa Senators. Can we get a win? There we go. There's a win, an actual win right here against the uh, New, uh, New Jersey Devils. There's another W against the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. So the Tampa Bay Lightning, we know we can defeat them. That's for sure. The Predators, I'm not too sure. You did get a shoot, a shout out against them. Good. Montreal, it is kind of a tricky one. We uh, used to have a difficult time against them, but it seems like now we're winning. Oh, there we go. We defeated the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's what I like to see. The Dallas Stars, we defeated them in shootouts. So really good so far, boys. Don't want to jinx us, but 7-0-1 so far in eight games. There's a first loss. There we go. As soon as I say that, our first loss in regulation up against the... Uh, the New Jersey Devils and our second loss in a row 
right there against the uh, uh, Detroit Red Wings. So, so far so good though. For the first 10 games of simulation, we ended up with a record of 7-2-1. and one. Really good record. I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Uh, that puts us in the second, uh, uh, on second position in our division, right behind the Senators. So the Ottawa Senators are the f best team so far, one of the best teams of the league. Interesting. That's very interesting. Now remember, last year we were really close to get the President's Trophy. We just messed up at the uh, at the wrong time and uh, ended up not being in the race anymore. But we were in the top three. So I'm hoping that uh, with a couple more additions to the lead of the team, we're going to do even better, you know. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. Also, uh, let's take a look at our goals for per game right here. We are not scoring that many goals. We're kind of in the middle right here. And uh, goals against, we are the best defensive team, though. That's a good thing. And for the power play, it's kind of a tweener area. It's in the middle. And for the penalty kill. So we got a really good the defensive team. Uh, offensive team-wise, though, not so much. Uh, our offensive team is kind of... It's not bad. It's not good either. Could be a lot better, boys. For now, we'll keep it as it is. Uh, we'll, we'll simulate another 10 games and see if... Uh, everything's going to be fine. If we get a, a good record, uh, I'll stay. Uh, keep it that way. That's for sure. So up against the uh, blue, uh, the Bruins, we defeated them six to three. The Islanders nine four win uh, win for us. All of a sudden, we are uh, scoring goals as the head coach for the LA Kings is going to uh, be fired. There's a loss, regulation loss against the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is fine as long as we keep winning uh, more games than we lose, basically. I'm, I'm going to be fine with that. So there's a win against the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins as Mata is going to get injured. Uh, that's going to break up our momentum a little bit there. And um, I guess Barry Boulet is going to get his first game with us. He's going to have to play. So he's a four-star, actually. So uh, do I play him instead? So top six? Top nine, yeah. I'm playing Olsen in the second line and Barry Boulet is going back to the third line, boys. So let's see. There's a shootout win against the Carolina Hurricanes. The Philadelphia Flyers. Let's see if we're going to beat him with Barry Boulet. Yeah, there we go. So even with our... With, uh, even with an injury on the list, on the second line, we still are able to win games even against the, the Winnipeg Jets. There we go. We're winning games, boys. We are winning games. I love to see that. That's really good news. Uh, Mata is finally back. What did Barry Boulet do uh, during the, the uh, during all this? He played three games, and that was two goals in three games. So really good performance for Barry Boulet, boys. I'm really happy about his performances. As for Mata, he is a power forward, so don't expect much points out of him. But uh, he's here to uh, basically play a lot of depth, uh, defensive game uh, play. Is here to add the defensive gameplay to it. Actually, he's not a power forward. He's a sniper. I'm so used to him being a power forward in the other games that uh, I thought he still was. But I guess he's a sniper now. So now he doesn't have any excuse then. He has to produce and he's not. Oh, well, boys. Uh, there's a regulation loss against the C Calgary Flames. And the Winnipeg Jets, that's going to be a W. So after the another 10 games, record uh, last record of 8 and 2. Fantastic, boys. 15, 4, and 1 so far. 29 points. Only 6 goals, though. But still, 29 points and 20 games played for uh, David Pasternak. Someone is scoring the goals in that first line. I don't know who it is. But if it's not Pasternak, I'm intrigued to, uh, uh, to see who it is. We are in the first spot of our division. Uh, we're in the current race for the President's Trophy, of course, uh, with uh, against the Senators, our main rivals. The Hurricanes, the Capitals, and the Ducks, pretty much. So we've got four teams, uh, four or five teams that are competing right now for the President's Trophy. Uh, I want to kind of look really quick in our main lineup. Who's like producing? Who's get, uh, getting the goals in the first lineup? I mean, seven goals and nine goals for McKinnon. So it seems like they're just, they're just sharing, really. They're, they're sharing the goals. And yeah, I feel like it's a... Uh, I mean, they're doing fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they're sharing the goals. So there's not really going to be any goal score, per se. Uh, unlike this line, where we clearly can't see who scores the goals, it's Genzo. Um, over here, yeah, it's definitely Malkin that scores a goal. So I don't know, boys. 
I guess it's the first line that doesn't have any real goal scorer. Uh, we also have Dalino Power. How are they doing together? They're doing all right. They're doing pretty good. Uh, Power already has six points, which is uh, pretty good. I like to see that. That means he's gonna he's still producing uh, with uh, Darlene in there, which uh, Darlene obviously gets all the points. He's 16 points already. That, sh that guy is a beast. Uh, four points for Parents, which remember he's a defensive defenseman. We don't expect him. Uh, we don't. We can't expect much offense out of him. The fact he's got po he's got points on the board. That's pretty good. And Apple Buy as well as a uh, defensive defenseman boy. So let's not expect much out of these guys. I just want them to play defensively very well. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. Let's take a look at our actual. Uh, team the way it looks like we are now on the second best offensive team. So we move uh, move that big time um, We are giving up a little bit more goals But we're scoring a lot more goals as well. So I, I don't know boys uh, Power play we are the second best power play all of a sudden and penalty kill We're still in the top tier. So now we're just on top of our game really we're just I guess it's a chemistry now it's it's up there so let's simulate continue simulate another 10 games there's a 7 to 1 win against the uh, blue uh, the blackhawks can we get another w sure we can a shootout win this time around against the uh, panthers boys there's a w again uh, the hurricanes another w so uh, we're getting a lots of wins right here we're doing really good an overtime win against the uh, the toronto maple leaves Let's see, how many wins is that in a row, though? That's six wins in a row, boys. So, two, four, and six. We're at six wins in a row. Let's keep it going right here. I want to I wanna see more of that. More of that against the Red Wings. And as soon as I count for the... Oh, my God. Well, there's the winning streak. There goes the winning streak, boys. Whatever, boys. They're up against the Boston Bruins, a, a shitty team, and we end up losing against them as well. All right, two losses in a row. Vancouver Canucks, there's another regulation loss. What happened there? Did I glitch the game where I I, I stopped uh, simulating the right way and all of a sudden, there we go. All of a sudden, they're going to punish me or something? What is going on, game? One last game simulation against the, uh, uh, the, the Nashville Predators, a regulation loss. Okay, now we got four regulation loss out of nowhere, boys. Three of them in a row. I'm not too in, like I'm not too worried, but at the same time, like what the hell was that all about? Is that the simulation? Is that EA trying to do their thing right here? Once again, trying to um, trying to uh, nerf me or something? I don't know, boys. We'll see. So 40 points for Pasternak in 30 games played. That first line is doing a uh, uh, fantastic. So we still got a positive ratio. As soon as I was counting, I was counting the six games in a row, boys, six wins in a row. And, of course, we uh, lose three in a row after that. I would completely destroy the entire process. All right, then. Let's see how the team uh, went. Did it go down or something? What, what happened there? We're still the second best goal scoring team. We are starting to really go up in terms of goals against, though. That's not good. That's not good. We're giving up more goals by the minute. Uh, power play is still doing great. And penalty kill, we got the best penalty kill. I don't know. We'll keep it that way for now. I feel like my team is uh, just great the way it is. Don't want to change anything. I mean, we're winning games like crazy. The Seattle Krakens, uh, we defeated them. The Dallas Stars, there's another uh, win. So, yeah, we're winning games. Sometimes we can have a little bit of a fluke where we uh, have three losses in a row. That's just EA trying to do their thing right there. Uh, shootout loss against the Toronto. It seems like Toronto might be a problem in the future. There's two wins in a row against Tampa Bay and the Capitals. Another uh, game against the Capitals. That's going to be a loss. Regulation loss this time around. That's fine. Up against the Rangers. There's a W. Yeah, so we're really doing a good uh, this year. This is, exactly, this is exactly what I was expecting and wanted to see out of my team, boys. As you can see, we uh, continue to dominate. We continue to win. Get a, a couple of shoutouts here and there as well. So we're going to simulate the, uh, the 40th game. And there it is. So last record, 8-1-1. One, one. So we are really doing fantastic. We now have 60 points, boys. Compared to the 64 points of the Capitals. The, we have one game in, ga in the hand of the Capitals. But they have 64 points. So it's going to be hard to beat them. Also, 
it seems like they're the only one we're in the race for. So yeah, we only are two teams in the race for the President's Trophy. Somehow we got to defeat them. They got to stop. Like they have uh, those overtime losses that are giving them points, bonus points. Okay, well, that's um, unfortunate right here. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the Capitals. They're kind of a strong team. Hopefully we can. I would like to have the President Trophy. That would be a great start, uh, a great finish to this season. So we're really doing good. I mean, producing a really good 52 points in 40 games played for McKinnon boys. All right, I have the season done now. If we want to look really quick at uh, what our lineups are doing, I mean, look at that. They're, they're doing great. Pasternak is at 52 points. Obviously, 52 points as well for McKinnon. And uh, Keller, 55 points. Actually, we should probably look... Uh, the best way to look at it is uh, via the actual individual stats right here. There we go. So we're seeing hit right here. We all have a middle stat on the second line, 34 points. Really good. Uh, Malkin still 32 points in 40 games played. Actually, I, was, I kind of think I was wrong. This guy is a beast. Malkin is just a beast. Don't, over and, uh, over under, don't underestimate him, I guess, boys. 15 points in the power play alone. All right, he's a power play producer, that's for sure. This guy's a stud, man. He's playing on the third line. He's still producing 32 points, boys. Uh, we got Genzel as well, 32 points. Darlene, 26 points. He's starting to fall down a little bit, not producing as much. I think he's sharing a little bit of the points with uh, power. Johnson, uh, Meta, and all, uh, all this stuff. Olofsson, which at one point, remember, now he's playing on the third line, so it's kind of normal for him to not be a beast like the other uh, seasons but the first two seasons he was our best player 71 points and stuff now we have much better players than him starting to drop off a little bit but that's okay Owen Power nine points so far in 40 games played which leads me to believe he's probably gonna end up 18 20 points hopefully in the 20 points mark will be great uh, great see if he can do that I mean, last year he was in these regions. It seems like, though, he's not producing at many points. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Parnes, 8 points, which is already better. It's already m as many points as he did last year during the entire year. So, uh, half of season done it already. He's going to produce a lot better. So, Parnes is doing a lot better. Uh, Apple by first, first season, 3 points only, but... Nothing crazy. No, nothing too crazy. I do want to look at my goaltenders as well. I don't know uh, what they've been doing the entire season. So let's see. Uh, Lukanen seems to be the starter for the next game. Uh, Lukanen, he, the, he's, he's doing all right. He's good. He could be doing a lot better though. 8.99. Not good, boys. And uh, Campbell's actually having a really good season. So Campbell's having a good season. Lukanen, not so much. That's unfortunate for him. All right, let's keep simulating, boys. Don't have anything to worry about here. Uh, we can keep simulating another uh, win against the Montreal Canadiens right here. A W against the Oilers. That's what I like to see. The uh, St. Louis Blues. I don't know if we're going to win or not, but uh, Campbell got injured. So now we lost our main goaltender. Here we go again, boys. Uh, Subban, is it, are we going to bring up Subban or are we going to bring up Kudeman? We're going to bring up Subban. Uh, sure, why not? He's having a really good season in the minors right now. Hopefully, Lukanen once again. Uh, now, remember, Lukanen had to play 42 games uh, two years ago. He was basically our starter for half the season. Hopefully, this time around, he doesn't have to be the starter for half the season. And uh, Campbell comes back soon enough. But uh, for right now, it seems like it's going to be a job for, uh, for him. So, he's going to be our main starter. Hopefully, he's, he's up for the job. Because I cannot right now be worried about that. So, okay. It was a W against the uh, St. Louis Blues. We're on a big time winning streak as well. We got to keep it winning. Uh, we got to keep it going. Especially since we are in the uh, President's Trophy race. All right. There's a shout out win for uh, for Lucan. And good to see. Yeah, we're in the President's Trophy race. So, we want to keep winning games. There you go. That's what I want to see. And Campbell's back as well. So, he wasn't uh, he, like he missed out on three games or something. That's uh, fantastic. 
Did uh, Subin play at, at all? I don't even know if he played. Let's see if he played at all. Any games? He did not play a single game, so he didn't have to play a single game, which is uh, really good news in that case. Uh, we Lukanen uh, did really well. Uh, he did a really well, a uh, really good. Um, rep he was a really good replacement for the meanwhile. So let, that's that's really good, boys. I'm I'm happy about that. Uh, I know, and we know he can play. We know uh, Lukanen can play, and he can definitely do his thing. If he's uh, only has like as we get a shootout loss against uh, the Anaheim uh, Ducks, we know he can play and uh, replace uh, Campbell for a while. He just can't replace him for an entire season, almost. You know that just can't be a thing. So Darlene is fully healed. I knew that. Uh, I guess that was a minor injury. I guess because uh, they didn't tell me before about his injury. So it, that was probably a minor injury or something. There's a win against uh, both of the uh, Flyers and the the uh, Seattle Kraken, so that's really good. Right now, we are su we have surpassed. I can already see that we have surpassed the Capitals. Overtime loss, not too good, but we're still in those bonus points when we lose. So that's a that's some good news right there. And we're gonna simulate the very last game, right here, up against the St. Jose Sharks, and we win it. There we go, boys. So 50 games played. Uh, last record 8-0-2. We didn't lose a single game in regulation. We have such a good team this year. A uh, 69 points, 68 points, 78 and 74. Yeah, the race is really in between two games, uh, two teams, ours and the Capitals, and we surpassed them now. So we have surpassed them, and we got two games in hand as well. So President's Trophy is well under our hands as for right now, but we gotta keep winning. We gotta have. We gotta keep having really good, a uh, really good season and stuff. That leads me to believe that I'm probably not gonna make any trades this year, since we are producing so good, boys. I mean, we're having really good time. Our team is doing great. I don't think I don't need to change anything. Uh, I do want to look at our team uh, team stats, but uh, I don't want to modify or anything because our team's doing so good. Uh, we've got the best offensive team. We also have the second best defensive team, power play, the second best power play, and the penalty kill. We're kind of falling down in the penalty kill department, but that's okay because we are winning games. I'm not changing anything, boys. The format is working right now, so I'm not changing anything. So here's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm actually, uh, we're going to keep going. Uh, yes, we're going to keep it going for another 10 games, boys. Up until the trade deadline, that is. So, there's a win against the Arizona, Coyone, the Arizona Coyotes. Really good. The Boston Bruins, can we win against them? There's a W again. Yes, we're, we are getting those wins, boys. I'm happy about that. We did lose against the Combo Blue Jackets. Minor injury, I guess, for Pirates. He, uh, he's fully injured, uh, fully healed now. Uh, there's another W. I like to see that. Uh, Campbell, once again, is injured. Campbell has a problem where he gets injured a lot. I don't like that. Don't get injured. You're playing a really great this year. Don't force Lukanen into that situation where he has to play more than he should. Like, come on, Campbell. Get it together, buddy. He's a good goaltender for us, boys, but he just gets injured too much. He's like, he's basically like Carey Price. He literally is Carey Price. The same type of goaltender. He plays good for you, but when he plays, because he's never there. He's literally never there. It's, it's frustrating. Like, I need, we need him right now. Let's go. Uh, is that going to be a win? Owen Power is injured. Now we lose our second best defenseman. Great. Now we're uh, starting to get hit by the injuries, boys. Not good. Uh, let's see the scratch players. We got. Uh, we need, we're gonna need Dermot in here. So Dermot is a uh, three star. Seems like the best option is gonna be Parnes. So Parnes is gonna be lay, playing on the third, uh, uh, second pair with Darlene. I guess we're gonna be playing uh, Apple Buy. It's gonna be an upgrade for him. Let's put Apple Buy in here. Now Apple Buy, you're gonna be playing on a natural position. He did grow. You can see he's an 82 instead of an 81. Playing with Lindholm, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's. Pretty much it. So let's keep it going that way. That was a loss against the Colorado Avalanche. Can we get wins though? Hopefully we can. Uh, the 
coach for the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, got fired. There's a shootout win. Really good. We got to keep winning, though. We're in the big time race right now. Campbell's finally back. I keep switching back and forth. We're getting a lot of problems with injuries right now. There we go. So now he's finally back. Uh, did uh, Subin have to play? He had to play one game. Ended up losing it. And was pretty trash. So yeah, that's not too good. Not too good. And Luke couldn't play the other one. Luke is fine. I guess he's doing fine now. Uh, finally, uh, Subin, you need... Like, we need Subin to play in the minors. Because he's obviously doing great in the minors. In the in the in main NHL lines, though. Not It doesn't seem to be that good, so... Can we please keep in the minors so he can help out my team? Instead of Kudubin playing on as the main starter. Even though Car Kudubin is doing fine as well, you know. I mean, uh, the best line possible, please. St. George's Sharks, that's going to be a loss. The uh, Oilers, that's going to be a W, though. All right, so uh, one last uh, simulation game up against the Calgary Flames. That's a shootout loss. Okay, all right. So we're losing a little bit more goal uh, uh, games right here. Uh, as the Boston Bruins lose their coach as well. Everybody's losing their coach. Uh, Owen Power is back. All right, that's what I like to see. Finally, he's back. That's going to help out our team because we really needed that right now. Apple Buy, you're going back in there. And Pirates and uh, Power are going to switch places once again. All right, so we're up to 60 games played, boys. We've played pretty good so far. We had a really good season. 88 points for uh, the Canucks are flying off the radar right now. So they're in the President's Trophy race all of a sudden. The Blackhawks are not in there. We are there. We're still the best team. 81 point, uh, 91 points. And we uh, have one game in hand of the Capitals. Good. The Capitals are 87. They're, not, they're still uh, winning games, but they're not getting as many points. So most of the uh, losses they're getting now are, are on regulation. So that's good for us. Good news for us. And uh, at this point, we already know we, are, we made it to the playoffs, boys. It's just a matter of, can we get the President's Trophy? Uh, I really want it. So we're in the main race now against two teams, the Capitals and the Canucks, which are popping up. But we do have... Three games in hand of the Canucks, so we are doing really, really well. The uh, Mekinen and everybody, everybody is doing great. This is why I mean that. Uh, this is why I kind of feel like I don't need to make any trades because if I, I'm, I'm afraid if I make any trades, I'm gonna mess up the team, and we're gonna end up missing out on the President's Trophy and probably messing out on the entire playoffs, uh, like maybe getting a. Uh, like making a huge mistake by doing a trade and getting rid of our chemistry that we got right now. So we'll see. Maybe we find something that could possibly upgrade, but it's got to be something really good. Otherwise, I'm not making any trades. So remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this series. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.